the great race. So the first game we're going to be playing is called Monkeys in a Barrel. You're going to have 10 of your teammates laying on the ground in this position with one arm reaching down towards the person below them and one arm reaching above to reach the person above them. After that, you're going to have the person who's farthest in the back, like Charlie, standing up and walking over the rest of the group, leading everybody in a train of standing up. The whipped cream bubblegum challenge consists of each person eating all of the whipped cream and then chewing the bubblegum in the middle. The first person to blow a bubble can move on to the next station. And remember, you can't use your hands. Start with the four people behind the starting line. Team needs to pick up and carry the ball through the finish line without using their hands. If the ball drops, team restarts from the beginning. All team members must be touching the ball with the body part at all times. Two players tie their inside legs together. Each of the two players has another person's feet in their hands, and the other two people are walking on their hands. The three-legged wheelbarrow has to cross the finish line. This is the water balloon toss, and each council will have two players play in this event. So one player will hold a bucket full of water on top of their head and the other player will try to throw a water balloon in the bucket without it popping and you have to get two water balloons in the bucket to move to the next station. Okay. Two people, one holds one end of the toilet paper and stays still on the starting line while their partner runs the other end of the roll 20 feet to the finish line with no breaks. If the toilet paper breaks, the players must start over. This will be the final activity of the great race. So after the team members complete the other events, everyone lines up behind a bucket filled with water. When everyone on the team is lined up, about arm's length away from each other, single file facing the bucket, remove the sponge from the water and pass it to the teammate behind you through your legs. Then that teammate passes it over their head, alternating over under passes until the water reaches the line at the top of the cup at the end. Once a sponge reaches the last person, squeeze the water into the cup, then that person runs to the front of the line to refill the sponge with water before passing it back again.